I had the worst mental breakdown in the car, like bad. Look, Saint versus sinners, the poor versus rich. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Renee. If you are new here today, as the video titled states, is going to be a kind of getting everything done few days. I have had a list of just tons of to-dos that I keep putting off, half-finished projects, little random tasks here and there that just keep piling and are very overwhelming. So I thought I would just film a video today and like sacrifice a weekend and the next few days to just get it all done. So I have a list here of all of these random little tasks hanging over me like a cloud. The first thing is I have a rod here, the bedroom rod. We actually put this up last month but there's a middle rod it's kind of like bending in the middle so there's a middle rod we gotta put in there as well as there's a little like paint imperfections that i had put some spackle on top of so i've got to do the touch-up paint for that along the house i've been painting all the bedrooms so there's like little imperfections along the trim that i would like to fix there's some in the guest room i know there's some in the living room there's some in our bedroom and some in the like pretty much every room i've painted at this point point. and speaking of painting we are going to be lime washing our fireplace which i think we're going to end up doing here first because I'm excited for that. We mortared our fireplace and redid the whole thing and it's just slowly but surely coming along. This is the last final touch that we have so we would love to get that done. And then on top of that when the fireplace is done we have been painting the living room but it's half painted right now so we need to do our second coat. We've been just doing white and I would like to paint the dining room while we're at it because our dining room is blue. We're going to be doing a mural and some paneling and stuff but the blue might show so I just want to make sure we just do at least one big coat of like white paint all around that way it's kind of like all cohesive downstairs the dining room is blue and then our sunroom is white so it's like white blue white but if it's all white we have a fresh clean slate downstairs and i would love to see that happen z has still not finished his flooring we've just been super busy and that's something that he needs to tackle and he only has two days on the weekends to get stuff done so he kind of prioritizes other things but all we have to do is pretty much the trim around his floor and then also the quarter round hopefully we can get that done dining room measurements speaking of the murals we need to measure the walls and go ahead and get that purchased um i would love to do a new fresh sheet of bedding and sheets for my mom because she's living right now downstairs in the guest room and there's some outlets around the house i don't think we're gonna get to this like all of them but we've been replacing all the little outlets and outlet covers every time we paint a room so i'd love to get the living room done and we still have a few in the guest room that i would like to get done as well um and then watering our indoor plants so we just bought a whole bunch of new plants last weekend and that's gonna be my job so a lot of just home project to do's that are just like i said looming over me like a cloud we're gonna go ahead and just start tackling things right now it's about 12 o'clock i think like I said, I'd like to start with the fireplace. So this is the paint that we ended up going with. It's a lime wash. And I think it's, yeah, it's Bianco white. And then we've got this big paintbrush here. I think we do have to dilute it. So we'll figure that out as we go. But basically we're just gonna put one coat of that over this mortared fireplace. While Z's painting the fireplace, I don't like to be around the fumes as much anymore just because I'm pregnant. I'm going to go ahead and tackle the um, little spackles all around our bedroom. Um, but a few of you guys were asking me about the paint color that we used in our bedroom and my office. And it's called Silent Smoke by PPG. And I got this sample originally just to test it. But this is perfect to have for just like little touch-ups here and there. So these are gonna take a second to dry, but once they dry, they end up looking like the exact same color. So right now it looks like it didn't do much, but I promise, give it like a few hours, it'll look brand new, fresh and clean. But we can go ahead and cross this bad boy off. Oh, it feels good. I 
love our Brooke Linen sheets. They are super, super cozy. They're so soft. I just put some on my mom's bed in the guest room because I thought it would only be fitting and deserving if the guests have the best, most comfortable sheets. Hotel style, super soft, super fluffy. I love a good like fluff sheet. I can't even pick a better word than cozy. And I think Brooklyn and sheets definitely do that. It makes you feel like you're in a hotel. Like it's just, they're really nice. All right, so Z has pretty much finished the fireplace. He's just kind of doing some touch-ups, but it looks, it looks the same, but I promise it's different. It's more so the texture. Um, it's a little bit more smooth and it's pretty much locked the mortar in place. See, what would you say about it? Oh, it's definitely lighter and there's less like porous holes in it. So like, yeah. as I was painting, whatever holes were left from the mortar, kind of the fine ones got filled in by the lime wash. It looks really good. I think it looks nice. I think we're pretty much done. I mean, I said that and then now I just realized we, we still, yeah, we've still got to paint the mantle, but that'll be way down the line because I think it looks fine right now. Like it doesn't look awful, but there's like a little bit of um, just a few like imperfections and stuff that we can paint over, but I kind of like the color right now. So Z's going to do the second coat. Obviously you can tell like right up here and all over, but um, he's going to do that. So I had originally wanted Z to paint this wall white we're gonna put a mural on it but now that i'm thinking about it because i already did the trim my main concern was like if you put the mural on it you can still see some of the blue we did the trim already so i think that's pretty much all we need and i don't want to waste any paint there is that wall so like these small little spots here and this wall right here if you can do that i mean yeah that way we don't have to take up the paint twice because we keep painting putting it away painting putting it away and it's just I'd rather do it all at once. Yeah? <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Thanks. Okay, so this is a big one off the list. So he's doing this one. So this one I'm gonna just take off the dining room because we're not gonna do that um i took off this one earlier we just don't have time for it i was gonna clean out the garage but it's not worth it what else oh yeah this one too i can do that during the week and i watered the indoor plants good morning i just had a little mental breakdown i had my first high risk doctor's appointment today and it just brought back a lot of like ptsd and feelings of just unworthiness you know like they're doing their job but all of these like fears and talking about it like it definitely takes a toll on me especially when i'm trying to be like positive and like happy during this pregnancy so i literally i had the worst mental breakdown in the car after like bad and my mind was just spiraling 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 and something that my friend Haley which one of you guys actually mentioned her in my last video she's a dear friend of mine that lives in New York City and she does a lot of like EFT stuff which is a type of therapy and it's called something something tapping basically like you're tapping and like you kind of go through these walk through therapy sessions as you're tapping and there's like a science behind it but i swear to you guys she's been on me for years trying to get me to tap and i just never did and because it feels funky when you're doing it especially when you're doing it alone or if there's someone in like another room or something but the amount of relief i feel from these sessions and she had given me access to a lot of her sessions i'll leave them down below for you guys if you're interested she is just a wonderful human being and even just the way she like communicates and talks and she has like this community within it that is pretty cool and you can like hear other people's stories but i just did like a quick you know I think it was like 10 minutes on YouTube from Brad Yates about like worthiness that, that just kept coming in, up to my head is like all of these feelings that I'm having like these yucky feelings are very correlated with am I worthy enough to have this pregnancy and I start thinking about like God and I don't know <laughs> my mind literally spirals and so I was like, I just kept getting this feeling of worthiness. I'm gonna do it and an immediate results, like immediate. I don't feel completely done, but it's like a huge like cloud that has passed. But yeah, just a rough <laughs> little morning there. But I'm gonna start on our to-do list again. So updates, Xander finished the living room. We've painted it white. It looks so good. I honestly can't stop staring at the wall. Like we finished the fireplace now and it just feels, I would say complete, but we still need furniture in there. Um, but that was crossed off. Oh, we were gonna do outlets. 
um but instead of doing the outlets i need to buy the outlets we were going to do them yesterday but we didn't have them so i'm just gonna buy the outlets and cross them off and we can do that probably another time i was gonna go to the ll flooring which is a flooring that we've been looking at we were gonna do lvp um but now i'm starting to think that i kind of want to do like real wood so i wanted to get some planks like sample planks just to see i don't think i mentioned that but that was on my to-do list in the beginning i still need to get those dining room measurements for the mural and then put the middle rod up in the in our bedroom i'm adding two things to the list though we're gonna do a noli order return i'm at the ups store right now and then i need to go to target to get my prenatals big errand day today i'm gonna pick up bubby and we can knock off a lot of these with him which is awesome we did those big ones this weekend when z's off and like my mom was off to help with bryson a little bit so i feel like we got a lot done like i honestly that that list was so overwhelming looking at it the fact that we got all that done within it was just one day i didn't even vlog the whole weekend which i was gonna do feels really good it feels amazing to get those things off your list so this is your this is your sign to make that to-do list of just those little tiny things dedicate a few days to them and just get them off because it feels so good that these little tasks are done that way i can focus on you know main things throughout my day without them looming over my head when i told you guys i literally had a full-on panic attack i have makeup all over my shirt because i was just panicking, bawling, crying. I look insane. But in other good news, we got to see our baby this morning. All great things, so that has been positive. Like, everything looks good. Um, it's just the talking about things and, like, preventative and, like, all that stuff. It's just, like, that brings back a little trauma. I need sunglasses, otherwise people are gonna think I was, like, crying in my car, which I was, but it's just awkward. <laughs> So here is the flooring that I think we're gonna go ahead and use. I really wanted like a white oak wood paneling and we tried LVP. I thought that was originally what we were gonna do, which is just luxury vinyl plank. And it's different than hardwood, like real wood, hardwood floors. Um, Sorry, I'm out of breath. I just walked up the stairs in person. Um, but I think that long term, just in terms of like investment within the property itself and like durability, it would be smarter to do wood. Now it is a little bit more expensive, so that's like the caveat. But we got a deal and the lady like walked in that deal for a while. So I really want to do the bottom like downstairs. But I think we're gonna have to do upstairs first because we have to do the kitchen since we're taking down like a wall and like redoing cabinets and stuff. So she said it would be best to do that after the kitchen and like she only locked in the rate for like 30 days. So if we were to do this, we'd just be doing the top floor. But that is something that I wanna do is the kitchen and the floor before the baby gets here if we can. It's a big endeavor. So the fact that I have this, I'm gonna show Z, kind of talk to him about it. But um, yeah, we had this kind of flooring in a lot of our apartments and my apartments previous to meeting Xander and I love like the white oak look. So yeah, that's uh, an option. Bubby, do you wanna come say hi? Hi. <laughs> he's saying hi, he's got the remote. Did you turn the TV on? What are you doing? Oh, thank you, Lola. Here, you wanna say hi? Come, come say hi over here, look. Say hey. Say hi. Hi. Can you say hi? Hi. Hi. You're so cute. Isn't he so cute? Bye. Bye bye. You say bye bye? Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. So one of the things on the to-do list is to put up the middle rod, uh, whatever you call it. I don't know what you call it. Those things. <laughs> we um, initially I got these drapes. They're actually really good quality. They're really heavy. They're like blackout curtains. They're very long. So because of that, I don't know if you can tell, but our rod is like morphing and like bending here at the middle. And the company sent over um, an extra, what do you call these? I'm like blanking on the word. Rod extension holder? <laughs> Uh, so I need to put this up. I keep putting this one off because it's like a simple thing, but it's like it requires a drill and, da -da 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 and kind of like So we're gonna end up doing a mural over here, which is why we didn't paint this wall specifically, but we painted the other little areas like above here that was blue, Z did that. 
There's like a little wall over here. I've been back and forth with this girl on Etsy that I really like, and she told me to get the measurements to her this past weekend. So I just had to go measure that. I'm gonna go ahead and get all the measurements to her so that we can go ahead and get that order going. I'm very excited about this mural. It's gonna make a huge change, and I still have my dining chairs on the way. They're like on back order. They say end of April, but we'll see. So I can go ahead and cross off the bedroom middle rod the dining measurements, and then I found the outlets that I knew I had, but I no longer do outlets because I'm pregnant, so I can't do that, and then I'm gonna cross off the LL flooring. Oh, also, didn't do the flooring this weekend because he's missing like something that he needs. That's a pretty big purchase, so we're like, okay, let's just opt for a fresh coat of paint, and my mom ended up painting that office, the study downstairs, so I cross off, <laughs> finished flooring, and then made another note to paint, but that means we've crossed everything off the list everything off the list we've tackled everything we got it all done thank you for letting me vlog this with you guys it made it so much more enjoyable are you playing peekaboo go 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 i'm gonna get you something i'm working on is that i can't always get it all done by myself especially with a toddler being pregnant having a ton of stuff going on something that's like ongoing that i've been working on is to allow help in my life i've learned that through just motherhood in general but i usually didn't i usually thought i could like do everything on my own i actually didn't want anyone to help i'm such an independent person you know it's important to let people especially your loved ones help you out and Taking that help doesn't mean you're a failure, it doesn't mean you're weak, it doesn't mean you can't do it all. It just means simply that you have loved ones who are willing to help out with that and get all that burden of the task off of your to-do list and it just makes way for like more important things to come way <laughs> during the day. You're so cute. He keeps coming out to me and then running away and coming out to me and running away. So I'm gonna end the vlog here, go play with him, um, send these measurements out. I hope you guys <laughs> Give it a thumbs up. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching.